Hi guys. Hi Instagram. Hi Facebook. Um, so I'm hopping on today because we're going to do a little bit of um, EFT tapping on just feeling exhausted about creating content and worries about showing up and being seen and heard. Um, so I hope this resonates with you guys today. This is kind of for my for my entrepreneurs, for my people who are wanting to show up in the world and do some amazing things, people who um, are creative and creating lots of things from the heart and, you know, getting um, worried and feeling kind of defeated and exhausted by constantly creating and putting your heart on your sleeve. Like when you're in a, when you are a creative person and you have a lot of, um, wanting to share hi jessica when you're wanting to share things and it takes a lot out of you to to be that creative person and show up and put programs out there or um even if you're creating pretty pictures for facebook or instagram or um you know you you are sharing your story and your story is your passion and you making it into your profession it can get really exhausting to continue to show up and continue to put out value and continue to do all these things um, and it creates this worry that are am I really being seen am I being understood am I being heard do people get what I'm doing um, am I making a difference in anyone's life am I showing up to do what I really want to do so I thought we can do a little bit of tapping on this today if this isn't for you over here on Instagram, um, no worries. Um, but if you uh, want to give it a try and see if this could be helpful to you, if this makes sense for you today, then please join us. Um, say hi when you get here. I can see you guys are on. And um, just say hi. I love interaction. I love connecting. I'm sitting here just prepping myself with my oils. Um, I chose frankincense today. And hi, Al Alan. <laughs> Allie. Um, I, I chose frankincense today and a line. So frankincense is going to help get me grounded and feel calm. Um, I chose a line to just kind of tune into that, to what I need to be tuning into right now and feel connected so that I can work through this. My favorite thing about EFT tapping is that when you have a block or anything like that, you can say hi. I see you, I hear you, I feel you, and you're bothering me. And so instead of saying like, it's not there, it's not there, it's not there, um, and pretending like, you know, you're, it's not there, just seeing it, working through it, <clears throat> it will give you so much power. And on you come out on the other side and you'll have so much more stuff to work with and you'll, you'll feel so much better. So I want to do this tapping with you guys. Hi, hi guys, hi Debbie, hi Tyler, I'm so excited you guys are on. Let's tap on uh, feeling exhausted about uh, putting out stuff from your creative mind and um, I know that a lot of us are sharing from a heart-centered place and it can get truly exhausting, like I said, if we don't feel like we're being seen and heard and, you know, do we even continue to do this? So um, I'm oiled up. I'm ready to go. Um, if you guys are ready to, I want you guys to close your eyes. Just take a really good deep breath in and out. And I want you to get comfortable in your seat, in your space. Um, let go of what you were doing before this. And let go of what you're going to go into after this. And when you think about all the things you want to share and all the creative juices that are flowing about creating programs or um, even if, like I said, even if it's like Instagram photos or Facebook photos, um, if it's creating classes, if you're doing essential oils, if it's what, wherever you're feeling that you put in a lot of creativeness from a heart-centered place. Just tune into what it feels like to continue to put this out there and not really being sure if anybody is seeing it. And where is this exhaustion or frustration sitting in your body? And what number do you give it from a zero to 10? 
10 being the highest exhaustion or frustration. And just taking another deep breath. And you can stay with your eyes closed and just listen to my cues and follow along. Or you can open your eyes. Hi guys, an eight. Okay, Debbie's on an eight. Okay, thank you for sharing. Um, so if you haven't done this before, just copy me, do what I do, say what I say, and give me feedback, okay, when you, um, after this round. So tapping on the side of the hand, I want you to say, even though I'm finding myself exhausted, exhausted about being creative, exhausted about creating programs and classes, I deeply and completely accept myself. And even though I am feeling all this lack of inspiration, because I truly don't know if anybody even sees it, and I deeply and completely accept myself. Good job, you guys. Even though I worry about being seen and heard. And I'm exhausted about continuing to create for my business. And I just don't know who is seeing the content anyways. I deeply and completely accept myself. Good job guys, top of the head. I'm too exhausted to continue to create. Eyebrow point, creating things that nobody notices or pay attention to. Side of the eye, something's probably wrong with me. Under the eye, I'm not having fun with it right now. Under the nose, I don't feel like doing it. Under the mouth, I feel defeated. Color point, I can't tell if I'm wasting my time. Under the arms, I can't tell if, even, if anyone even sees what I'm putting out there. Under the chest, it's like I've lost all of my intuition. Wrist point, I've lost all of my creativeness top of the head and I'm worried that nobody sees it anyways eyebrow point so why am I even doing it side of the eye if I'm gonna be creative and put myself out there under the eyes and nobody sees it anyways under the nose then what is the point under the mouth I might as well give up. Collar point. I might as well stop sharing my story and stop being creative. Under the arms. Nobody will ever notice me. Under the chest. Nobody's paying attention to me anyways. Wrist point. So I might as well not show up. Top of the head, it's too exhausting anyways. Eyebrow point, always creating content and programs and classes. Side of the eye, if nobody sees it anyways. Under the nose, I forgive myself for believing I cannot create value. Under the mouth, I forgive myself for believing that nobody sees me. Collar point, I forgive myself for believing I've lost my intuition. Under the arms, who am I kidding? Nobody sees me. Under the chest, it's going to be like this forever. Never going to change. 
top of the head. This is the end of me. Eyebrow point. It's exhausting to put out all this value. Side of the eye. It's exhausting to continuously create value and content under the eye, especially because I'm worried nobody sees me. Underneath that nose, especially since I'm tired. Under the, the mouth, I'm recognizing that I'm choosing fear. Color point. And I'm choosing to forgive myself. Under the arms. Maybe I'm ready to see this differently. Underneath the chest. Maybe somebody is watching me. Wrist point. Maybe somebody is getting value from what I share. I just can't see it yet. Take a deep breath there, guys. And let me know where you're at now about exhausted about being creative, where you're at uh, with your number, where you're feeling it in your body, if you had any shifts. Um, your feedback will be exactly um, what we need to move into the next part. I felt like a really good release for me. I hope you guys felt good too. So I'm going to see a five, Debbie. That's great. That's a big movement from an eight. What is left? What are you feeling that's left from um, showing up? Not sure, sure if anyone's seeing you. Um, I mean, it is a vulnerable thing, right? To continue to show up and share your heart and create content and programs and classes around that. And you're so passionate, right? Like, I'm the same. Like, I'm so passionate about what I show up to share. And it's, it's scary. And to do it and not being confident that people are seeing us, that could be extremely exhausting. Um, so just give me a little bit about where you're feeling that. Like, I'm feeling... I'm feeling a little bit, um, let's see what Debbie says. It's so hard. I feel today like I'm not good enough. Okay, not good enough. And why, why Debbie, are you not good enough? And where are you feeling that? It is hard. It is hard, like I said, because... If we're not getting the feedback right away, if we're not getting reassurance right away, um, then we start doubting. We have all this doubt. I'm doubting that I'm not good enough. I'm doubting that what I put out there has value, right? Doubting. Um, how are you guys doing on Instagram? Are you, anything showing up for you? Um, let's see. Going through a lot of emotions of the past and solar plexus area. Okay. All these feelings of the past. Okay. Let's do another round. You guys can keep um, typing in. I'll just kind of see where this leads me intuitively. Are the emotions of the past feeling not good enough? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. You guys can continue to um, type if you like, or you can join back in. Okay, tapping the sign of the hand. Okay, even though this is bringing up feelings of not being good enough. And I'm doubting myself a lot. I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. 
And even though I have all this doubt, and wondering if what I'm doing is worth it, and it's bringing up a lot of emotions of the past. Old beliefs that I have about not being good enough. I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And even though I'm feeling this in my solar plexus, and it's uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable to think about all the things that I'm creating and putting out there. And how vulnerable I have to be to show up over and over again. Wondering if it's worth it to even show up and create value. What if nobody sees me? And I deeply and completely forgive myself. Okay, top of the head, you guys. Not, not good enough. Eyebrow point. I'm doubting myself a lot. Side of the eye. What if I show up with so much vulnerability and nobody sees me? Under the eye. All these emotions of the past. Under the nose. All these beliefs that I'm not good enough. Under the mouth. I'm feeling it in my solar plexus. Color point. All these emotions of the past. Under the arms. They're bringing up all this doubt. Under the chest. All these feelings of not being good enough. Top of the head. I forgive myself for believing that I'm not good enough. Abra point. I forgive myself for doubting myself. Side of the eye. It is not easy to share my story under the eye. It's not easy to continuously create value and content under the nose, especially if nobody sees it anyways. Under the mouth. And what if nobody sees it? What if nobody is noticing me? Under the arms. But what if somebody is? Under the chest. What if I'm exactly what somebody needs? Wrist point. All these doubts. Top of the head. All these feelings of not being good enough. Agra point. All these emotions from the past. Side of the eye. All these beliefs. These old beliefs that I'm holding on to. Under the eye. They're messing with me right now. Under the nose. They're not doing me any good at all. Under the mouth. I'm recognizing that I'm choosing fear. Collar point. And I want to choose differently. Under the arm. I wonder what I'm really afraid of. Under the chest. What if it has nothing to do with showing up and being creative? Wrist point. What if I what if I'm truly creating value? Top of the head. What if people are paying attention? Eyebrow point. I just don't know it yet. Side of the eye. I don't know. I'm not sure. Under the eye. But I sure do know it's scary to keep showing up. Under the nose. And I feel vulnerable sharing myself so much. 
under their nose, but unsure if anybody sees me. Color point, but what if even one person sees me? Under the arm. And what if I can believe in myself just a little bit more? Under the chest. What if I'm ready to let some of this go? Wrist point. I forgive myself for believing that I'm not enough. Top of that, I choose instead to believe that I am exactly where I need to be. Um, I wrap point. Exactly where I'm meant to be seen. Side of the eye. This is hard. Under the eye. I've been exhausted about creating value. Under the nose, but I'm ready to let some of this go now. Under the mouth, I'm recognizing that I'm choosing fear. Collar point. I'm ready to let these old beliefs go. Under the arm. I am being seen and heard. Under the chest. People are paying attention to me. Wrist point. It's scary, but it's so worth it. Top of the head. I need to be seen and heard to share my message. Um, eyebrow point. I need to be seen and heard to continue to create value. Side of the eye. And I do love creating value. Under the eye. That feeling I get when somebody responds to me. Under the nose. That feeling that I get when I've helped somebody out. Under the mouth. It's so worth it. Collar point. I'm safe. Under the arms, it's safe for me to show up. Under the chest, it's safe for me to create value and be seen and heard. Wrist point, I am being seen and heard. Okay, take a deep breath there, you guys. Whew. Okay, let me know how that felt. Let me know if there was anything that shifted. Did the numbers go down? Did you feel a release? Are you yawning? Are you shivering? Are you crying? Are you letting it out? Let me know where you're at and what is left. Um, it's this constant push and pull, right? We, we, we create, we put ourselves out there and then we hit an upper limit or a fear and we pull back and we doubt. I'm crying and yawning. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, Debbie. I'm so glad. Yes, 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 yes. Um, much better. Zero. Wow, Debbie. That's amazing. What a good like switch of the day. That's so good. I'm so, oh, I'm so glad. Yes. Um, if you guys have anything left, if there's anything left, any like of that old stuff that kept coming up, continue to tap it out on your own. Tap through it. Just tap through the points. Just vent, talk about it, let it out. Um, please know to drink water after this kind of work. Please know to be kind to yourself. You're going to be exhausted. Um, you just did a lot of work, subconscious work. Your brain did a lot of work. You are interrupting the fight or flight response when you are tapping. Um, it's, it's, it's hard. So the yawning, the crying, that's so good. It's like really shows the release. Um, I'm glad you guys were on here with me. Uh, message me if you need anything else from me, like if something is uh, feeling more like a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um, like when I do these group tappings, it's very in like general and broad, um, unless I have really good feedback. Thank you, Debbie. Um, and if you're feeling like you want to dig a little deeper, peel back some more onion layers, get to the very core of something, because this truly is uh, a work where you go a little deeper, go a little deeper, go a little deeper. And if you can find that core, the core issue of the doubt or the core issue of the not being feeling enough, then it is 
it's like if you clear that, it just breaks you free. And so that might um, that might need some one-on-one -on -one work. So if you are wanting that, message me because I love giving you guys that one-on-one -on -one space to work together. Um, so you can find me at wallatribe.com or you can just send me a message here or here, um, wherever you're at. And um, you're welcome, Debbie. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're feeling better. So yeah, um, message me if you need me one-on-one. -on -one, and if not, I'll see you guys next time. And thank you to all of you for being on. Have an amazing rest of your day.